subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. On this episode of Sean's View Entertainment, we're talking about backup plans. We're talking about changes. We're talking about all the developments on the road to WrestleMania. As you can tell, WrestleMania has been turned a complete 360, 380, 420 RVD. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the place to be for all hourly news. The most important thing you can do for my channel is click that bell. Turn on all notifications, go on your device right now, and make sure the bell is checked next to the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. Very crucial and very important because we give hourly updates, hourly videos. We give multiple videos a day. Sean's View Entertainment is timeless. But ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking developments coming out. Who is going to replace CM Punk as CM Punk broke the news on Monday Night Raw? As a matter of fact, what did you guys think about Raw? Up to this point, are you liking Raw? Are you enjoying Raw? Do you think Raw is a great show following the Royal Rumble? I want your thoughts in the comment section. And your thoughts, your opinion so far on tonight's Monday Night Raw. Or by the time this video gets up there. Also, we heard that... Braun Breaker will most likely be signed with SmackDown, and Andrade is on Monday Night Raw. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll look at the score with the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive. Major news on Cody Rhodes, major news on the world title, major news on Roman Reigns, major news on CM Punk and the replacement. Who is ultimately going to replace CM Punk at WrestleMania? Because as of right now, it looks like Seth Rollins is good to go. It looks like Seth Rollins will compete and will wrestle. And as a matter of fact, maybe Seth Rollins is going to convince Cody Rhodes to face him at WrestleMania and not Roman Reigns. Reigns, your thoughts, your comments. Who do you think Cody Rhodes should ultimately go against? Should it be Roman Reigns or should it be Seth Rollins? Now remember, if this does happen again, we are going to get to the major plans, the major replacements, because this whole video is going to be chock full. It's going to be fully loaded with all news, rumors, and headlines, speculation, and gossip. Listen to this one, guys. If Cody Rhodes does in fact choose Seth Rollins, then The Rock, that would make way for The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, to make a monumental return to go against Roman Reigns, and then it would be champion versus challenger, and then on the red brand, it would be Royal Rumble winner Cody Rhodes against Seth freaking Rollins. And then again, like I said, Roman Reigns and The Rock. So there's your two great big main events without CM Punk. Because again, CM Punk was supposed to go against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was against CM Punk. It was going to be a great storyline, but now that's going to have to hold off. And as CM Punk said, there is always next year. And that's exactly what is going to go down as Seth Rollins has put Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania plans in doubt. And you got to wonder exactly... Cody Rhodes did say he will think about it. He didn't give a yes, and he didn't give a no. And what about what Drew McIntyre did, did, did tonight on Monday Night Raw? How, how devious, how terrible. I mean, Drew McIntyre has had really a change in his, uh, in, in his character over the last several weeks. And what we saw out of him tonight was just straight, really something that CM Punk is never, ever going to forget. And you got to wonder, how is Drew McIntyre going to cover out his own WrestleMania plans? But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into the massive rumors and speculation as to who is going to be able to replace CM Punk on the road to WrestleMania. And again, on the road to WrestleMania, there's a lot of bumps, there's a lot of curves, there's a lot of dips, there's a lot of highs, and there's a lot of lows. And there's even some Russo swerves in there, and none bigger than CM Punk being out for the Royal Rumble extravaganza. But viewers, as I promised you, we're going to get right into this majestic report for each and every one of you, because according to those in the know... As CM Punk addressed his injury tonight on Raw, which shocked everybody. We were hoping that this was going to be an angle, a storyline, part of the show. But no, it was actually real. And will we see a new Intercontinental Champion tonight? Gunther did say that Kofi Kingston will remember this night for the rest of his life. And maybe that's a, that's, maybe that's a little bit of an inkling that Kofi Kingston might win this thing. I mean, nobody thought Kofi Kingston would have became the WWE Champion at WrestleMania 35 in 2019, which I was there live at WrestleMania in New Jersey. I was there to witness Kofi Mania when he defeated Daniel Bryan. But again, I'm getting a little bit off, off the charts here, guys. Listen to this one. Getting into it right now. As promised, WWE announcing the potential replacements for CM Punk because that's some big shoes to fill. That's heavy shoes to fill in the WWE. Make no mistake about it at the end of the day. WWE announcing CM Punk WrestleMania replacement revealed, leaked online for all of you. Remember, this is your premier source for all WWE as it happens all the time and in real time. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if there's any updates, we will provide that to you right here on Show and View before anybody else because I am the, 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 the voice. I am the choice of all breaking news. 
we are looking at either the replacements of CM Punk being John Cena, the returning Baron Strowman. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Braun Strowman's on that list of returns. And The Undertaker. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you can believe that. The Undertaker, Braun Strowman, and John Cena are all on the list to replace CM Punk at the Showcase of Immortals WrestleMania. And would you be for that or against it? Also, in other breaking news, just coming out right now live as we're doing the show. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. Also, in other breaking news, while CM Punk may not be able to wrestle or compete at WrestleMania, CM Punk will still have to have something to do with WWE and WrestleMania on the road. Either at WrestleMania or on the road to WrestleMania, CM Punk will be joining WWE commentary. Yes, you heard that right. CM Punk will be on commentary for the matches, uh, or he could be on WrestleMania on the commentary booth with either Michael Cole or, or Wade Barrett or Corey Graves during WrestleMania. Would you want to see CM Punk on commentary at WrestleMania as your special guest commentator? Or there's even rumors of speculation of CM Punk being a special guest enforcer. Yes, you heard that right, a special guest enforcer. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers just coming through my desk right now. Bailey sends a definitive message to haters with a new haircut following her 2024 Royal Rumble victory. Also, Kevin Owens turns hype man for Becky Lynch after her Royal Rumble defeat as Becky Lynch looked stressed, depressed, and she did not look like in a good way at all. Tiffany Stratton reveals her wish list for the 2024 WWE Premium Live Events and also in a shocking development, a shocking turn of events coming out of the WWE Titan Towers. Listen to this one, guys. Nikki and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins, finally speak out against the Vince McMahon allegations and to say that they are not happy would be an understatement. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, listen to this huge update. Pat McAfee says he would have challenged Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight title on Raw if he actually won the Men's Royal Rumble match last night on Peacock. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions, as we all know, Pat McAfee ended up eliminating himself. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Ryback calls out double standards in treatment after CM Punk's Royal Rumble performance. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Also, ladies and gentlemen, again, there's a lot of doubt on Jay Cargill after her Royal Rumble performance, but there's also belief that she will be able to overcome this and she will get better and she will only get even grander on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Also, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on a major push coming in the WWE. Braun Breaker and Montez Ford will be in for some blockbuster pushes on WWE's main roster. Yes, you heard that right. Monumental pushes coming from Montez Ford and Braun Breaker. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Naomi's WWE brand assignment has been revealed. It would appear as if the returning Naomi that we saw her return at the Royal Rumble will be a part of the WWE SmackDown brand, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And it's expected to make her presence felt on the SmackDown brand, the blue brand. Also, Jeff Hardy is set to rock a concert during WrestleMania 40 weekend, which is leading to a lot of rumors and speculation that we might see the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy at WrestleMania 40, and which would be another replacement for CM Punk. So as you can see, the WWE is going to their trusty toolbox because they know CM Punk is a big name. He, he draws the ratings. He's one of their biggest merch sellers, one of their biggest ticket sellers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and now this also heel AJ Styles return. Rand Orton versus Roman Reigns for SmackDown. A lot of rumors and speculation about Reigns and Orton going at it. And a heel AJ Styles going into full effect. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Gunther could see himself acting in a James Bond villain role down the line once he leaves the WWE. That is planned for Gunther after he leaves the company. Also, ladies and gentlemen. Mercedes Monet's anticipated timeline revealed for her professional wrestling return. Sasha Banks' return is being revealed online. Listen to this one. According to PW Insider, Mercedes Monet is set to return to professional wrestling by March, but it won't be with WWE. While it wasn't really mentioned where she'll be going, the prevailing belief is that Mercedes Monet may be headed to AEW or TNA Impact Wrestling. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, Andrade signs with Raw. Nick Aldis gets a call from well, we saw what happened. Would you want to see Braun Breaker on SmackDown? As you can see, Braun Breaker is going to be getting the Brock Lesnar-esque push. And as you can see, CM Punk, this is not the only replacement. CM Punk isn't the only one that's going to be replaced tonight on WWE. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, 
CM Punk is also being replaced by other guys. Like you see, you got the Braun Strowman's of the world come back, the Undertaker's, the John Cena's, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's. As you can see, there's a hell of a lot of things going on. And right now, Kofi Kingston is coming within an eyelash of winning the Intercontinental title. Kofi Kingston was so close, he could taste it. He could smell it. He could see it. Kofi Kingston almost became the Intercontinental Champion. And you cannot sell Kofi Kingston short. This guy is a former WWE Champion. He main evented at headline WrestleMania. So again, at the end of the day, nobody probably gave Kofi a chance. But again, you cannot forget exactly that Kofi Kingston is a veteran of the game. He knows how to win titles. He's done it before, and he's about to do it again, or so he thinks. But right now, he has given Gunther a run for his money. You want to talk about testing Gunther. You want to talk about bringing Gunther to his very limits. That is what Kofi Kingston is doing tonight. Kofi Kingston is really rearing it up. You know, every time WrestleMania comes around, it seems like Kofi Kingston kicks it up to, to another gear. And now is the time to go into another gear because Kofi Kingston needs to let the WWE Universe not forget what he's capable of and what he's accomplished in his tenured WWE career. This is The Brash and the Brazen. Sean V. Tim, sign up to become a channel member today. Subscribe to my second channel where we go above and beyond, where we give you even more content, more video, more time, more effort, more emotion, more passion, more energy. And remember, viewers, fans, and subscribers, if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. It's Kofi Kingston closing in on winning the Intercontinental Championship. More to come from Sean View Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. Remember... If it's not brash, it's absolute trash. Later.